Hi everyone, I am here to demonstrate how to create a formative quiz with automatic feedback. And I am in my sandbox right now looking at my modules page. And before I click to edit my quiz that's there, I want to review my module one objectives because I want to make sure that my quiz matches my stated objectives. So I am going to pick out one of the objectives that I set already and I'm going to copy it. Control C and then click modules and go back to my quiz and then I'm going to add my objective to my quiz and as you'll recall that's part of uh, backwards design where we set our objectives we design our assessments to meet our objectives and only then do we create the content needed to be able to pass this quiz right so um, I'm on my quiz now I'm going to click the edit button and then I'm going to paste in that objective. Great. And after I do that, let's review the instructions that are here to make sure that they apply. You can change them if you'd like. For example, I'm going to allow three attempts instead of two attempts on this quiz. And scroll down and you can do things like shuffle the answers up so that they change every time a student takes the quiz. Um, and change which score to keep. You can put a time limit if you want. So adjust these settings to match what you need. One setting to pay attention to is if students can see the correct answers after they submit. Because I am allowing three attempts on the quiz, I do not want them to see the correct answers right away. I want them um, to find the correct answers if they got them wrong. So I have it set to let students see the answers only after their last attempt. So make sure you look at that setting but I do want them to see their responses so that they can see what they got wrong and my automatic feedback on the question, but just not the correct answers. Okay, so I have my settings, my instructions. I'm going to click Save. I'm always saving just to make sure. Um, now that that is set, let me click Edit again, and then we're gonna switch over now to the quiz, the quiz questions. So these are the details. Click the Questions tab and click new question and we're going to practice you can do um, we want you to practice with either multiple choice or true false questions for this quiz um, so here's where you would change that let's say i want to do a true false question and how many points do you want it to be worth i'm going to make this worth two points and then enter my question so um, i'm going to make one up about citations mla citations should be double spaced okay is that true or false right so here you'll see um, you're gonna mark the correct answer mine happens to be true for this one you mark the arrow and um, then you have a chance with these colorful boxes to enter some automatic feedback so you can enter in this green box underneath true that will enter it if they choose that answer if they choose false this feedback that I enter in this box would show up or I can use the boxes below to enter it um, if they have the correct answer the incorrect answer or the gray box will give them the feedback no matter what they select which I use this often because I feel like if I'm giving valuable feedback I want everybody to see it not just the people who got it wrong so um, I'm going to click this to show you what that looks like so whatever I type here, they're going to see after they take the quiz, right? So I can say something like, review my lecture notes in this module where I discuss how to format MLA citations, right? So they'll get a little tip about where to go to find the correct answer if they got it wrong. And here's the key pointer please remember to click this button, update question. Do not go right to save. You need to click update question first. Then you'll see your question here, then click save. Very important, trust me. You will lose all your work if you don't click update question and then save. And after you've done that, I always recommend preview your quiz, okay? Look and see what it looks like, all right? Um, because you might notice something really weird with your question or your answers. So here I am previewing my quiz. I can see um, it looks good. And I could even 
try and take the quiz and I can even submit it and then see what happens, right? So if I submit the quiz, you'll see I have the answer. It didn't tell me what the correct answer was, right? And, but it did give my feedback, which is exactly what I wanted. All right, so have fun giving it a try this week yourself and let us know if you have questions.